Welcome to devlog number 3 for the untitled Red Panda game. Since the last devlog, I've worked on a new enemy, new animations for the Red Panda, some optimization, and the guide, which is now known as the Angel. So before I get started, if you like the content, please like and subscribe. I spent most of my time working on a new enemy. I'm reworking some of the enemies, but I'll talk more about that in the future video. The new enemy will be known as the Black the black is supposed to represent the darkness in the world. To get started, I needed a model for the enemy. I wanted something simple, not too dark or grotesque, but still creepy. Here's a side note. I'm creating the game with a guideline that I can show it to my children or then play it without it being morally bad. So back to the black. Like the other planned enemies, I checked the asset store and found this free mimic asset. So this mimic asset was really cool because it generated the legs in real time. I wouldn't have to worry about the animations and they would move in an unpredictable way making it creepier. I created the new enemy adding a sphere for the body creating the basic animations for the sphere and setting up AI and attacks. At first I set up a lot of placeholder components like animations and random unedited effects for the attacks. I did this because I wasn't sure if the enemy would work and I wanted to get a prototype done as quick as possible. The first version was pretty rough. Oh, and before I set all the AI up, I really wanted to add an effect to the legs of the black. I spent a good week to two weeks trying different materials and effect configurations to no avail. So the effects kept the position at the origin but would not run along the length of the legs. Finally, I realized that the legs were using a line renderer to generate them and I needed to use a mesh renderer instead. And after that fix, the effect would apply to the new legs because it now has surface area. So at this point, the new enemy prototype is set to go. But I felt it needed a new environment instead of the test level. So I quickly created a basic cave. This took some time because my level design skills are still pretty weak. Now the new cave test level is complete and I ran into a new issue. I started having random FPS drops to near zero, causing the camera to spin and jerk. I determined it was from the black's leg generation. I really needed to figure this out, otherwise I wouldn't be able to use this as an enemy. I started with tweaking some of the mesh renderer parameters. That only helped a little. The FPS still dropped, just not as often. So I was kinda off to a good start. Next, I figured it would be good to learn a little about optimization and implement this. Most tutorials don't talk about optimization when creating little games or levels, so I didn't know much about it. So I started with lighting. At this time, I was using mixed lighting and all the lights in the cave scene were set to real time. So those definitely needed to be updated to baked. So I switched all the lights to baked and set up light probes throughout the level. After that, I set up occlusion calling and crossed my fingers and hoped this was enough to fix the FPS drops. I also needed to make the black a little more visible and stand out more. I edited the lights a little bit and I thought the effect should be a little brighter. So I improved the smoke effect with some yellow and reds. I really liked how it turned out. I tested the enemy again and the FPS drops improved but were not gone completely. So for now, this version of the black will be put on hold until I can figure out how to improve it more. In the meantime, I'll just work with this sphere. I improved the attack from a ray to a smoke projectile. And I also had an idea to maybe use wings instead of legs. Here are a few wing versions I'm working on. Okay, back to the black. So the black will have a main attack of corruption and it will slow the player to a wounded state and also cause health degeneration. So to the red panda. As you might have noticed earlier, the red panda has a new ability. I'm calling it a light burst. So the concept behind it is the black 
next attack is Corruption, which slows you down and damages you over time. The Light Burst will counter it. It'll break you free from the Corruption by allowing normal movement and stopping health degeneration. Some of the effects and animations are rough right now just because I wanted it to work. They'll be updated in the future. The Light Burst will also stun the Black if close enough. I plan on switching out the effects completely or improving them. They are just placeholders right now. For this interaction, I needed a wounded animation for the Red Panda. Like in the previous video, I had to import some animations into Unreal to retarget for the new version of the Red Panda. Now onto the Angel. The guide from Devilog number one is now called the Angel. I wanted to add more to the Angel than just a sphere. I found some wing objects on the Acid Store and added them to the Angel. I didn't want realistic wings, so I created a new material for them and added an effect to it. The angel now needed improvement in its AI and animations. It needed a better idle animation. Along with that, since the sphere and wings were separate from each other, they actually have their own animations. The wings also needed this cool feather effect with them. The AI is not that different from the previous version, it's just improved. Instead of spinning in a circle while waiting for the player to move, the angel now idles and moves in place, up and down vertically. I also improved the camera. I added a few focal points to the red panda. Um, this is so the camera rig could adjust according to its position. So based on the position of the camera, it will be focused on either the head, the body, or above the tail on the red panda. I also created a system for the camera when the angel is active or inactive. So when the angel is active, it will zoom out, and when the angel is inactive, it will zoom back closer to the red panda. For the next video, I'll probably start with level creation, but we'll see about that. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for devlog number four. Thanks.